Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned Svelte series. Today, we are going to be using Svelte Motion, which we explored a little bit last episode, to make a very small tour, uh, or like an example of what you could do with Svelte Motion, to make a tour uh, with JavaScript in our Svelte Kit application. So when you click on some nav and it's pointing and then it clicks, it shows you another thing to do. So let's just do a demo real quick so you can see what I'm seeing. We have this tour, and then you can say next here, and then there's a little animation in between. And of course, it's not the smoothest animation, but I didn't really tweak any settings on Svelte Motion. I just kind of made a couple of things, and then you can end it. And it's all done with uh, local storage right now. I'm not using cookies or anything, so and, you know, as it's loading the store, it does have the flash of that. So certain things that you would probably want to uh, do is make it so it works without JavaScript. You don't want to make it that you have different steps, uh, maybe via URL params where you could, you know, say two or equals one or two for whatever step it's on. But for now, uh, this is what we have. So very short, simple version. Um, if you didn't see before, my name is David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned. You could support me on Patreon if you like this type of content or buy me a coffee. Thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. So first things first, we have a writable store here. Tour, we're gonna have a couple of things in here. It's displayed, it's true by default, and it's at the first step. We'll go ahead and import that in our tour, or in our nav here. And we're gonna also import the animate presence, shared layout, as well as motion config. And then we're gonna import tour step, which I'll show in just a moment. On mount, we're going to go ahead and initialize our local storage um, store here. And we have a couple of functions, one for handling tour, which is just going to update the tour step we're on. And then we're going to have a dismiss, which is going to set it to display false and then reset the step back to one. So the first thing is in our nav, we're going to go ahead and basically wrap everything or, or all of the um, all of the elements, the clickable links, etc., in motion config, shared layout, and animate presence. And we used this last time in the demo. Um, let me look at which one that was real quick. The motion config one. Let me do animate presence. So we did it in this motion config demo with the different layout changes. Um, so the difference here is we're just going to have this as show equals true. And so if we go back to this one, you can see we have a, a list here. And the API lets us do show, and that will show the item within it always. Or we can use this to set a key, um, which would be on this item here. So this is layout in this case. That's the key. And this is the value of that layout. So. If we wanted to do it this way, we could change it and have a list of each thing here, but we're actually controlling this already via the store in tour steps. So we'll go ahead and look at that in just a moment. So we have our home link here. The main thing is above it, we have added a div with inline and then relative. And that's for the, so the tour step, which is an absolute uh, item, goes ahead and has a, a relative parent. And then here's our content that is going to live within the tour step. So we're just basically going to, right now we're not doing anything without JavaScript on. Um, we're having the handle tour, et cetera, et cetera, and then the content value of that. And then we scroll down. We're going to go ahead and set relative on this other one, the other uh, flex that lives up here. And right outside of this, uh, theme toggle here, we're going to also have our next tour step with its content as well. And then it's going to also have the handle dismiss tour. So those are our two. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tour step itself. So it's going to import the motion from motion SSR, as well as the tour from the stores. It's going to take in a step. And then this left is just a little crappy hack that I did to display where this little arrow goes. So let's go refresh real quick. So this little arrow that's pointing. So that's just what I'm doing for that. 
So we're going to say this is where we could have used item um, for the animate presence here. So that is similar to this section right here, if item.layout is equal to blah, blah, blah. But we're using this the tour value. So if we're saying if it's displayed, and it's this current step. And then within it, we're going to go ahead. We need to give it some kind of ID, though, still. And that way, it, it knows to go from one to the next. So, But it's a constant, so we know it's always going to be tour. We're going to have motion, and then use motion, of course. The rest of it is just building out this little block uh, with absolute, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not going to go into that, but this is the separator, a uh, little icon. And this is the rest of the um, button tour. And then, of course, we have the slot for the content within it. So very, very simple. Um, you know, it's got some hard-coded stuff in here, but this is just an example of something you can do with, with Svelte Motion. So we could build this out and make it a lot more nice. Um, we can go ahead and clean up different sizes and make it a little more interesting, different colors, etc. But for now, it's here and it works. And um, so, yeah, that's it. And of course, it looks nice either way. So. Go ahead and use Svelte Motion for your application. And this is a small example of what you could do. And I hope you like this and subscribe. Thanks, guys and girls.